you know, there's nothing you can do about that shit now. What's done is done, right? Well, okay. Now, how the fuck am I supposed... Okay, there it goes. All right, it didn't want me to... Uh, it didn't want me to broadcast you for some reason, Bringer. I don't know why. But you're hot now. Go ahead. Yeah, man, I was just wondering, um, when are you going to make good on your word uh, and kiss the geek room's ass? When's that going to happen? Um, that's going to be happening real soon. No bullshit. Okay. And serious shit, serious shit, man. You got to call off the zombie fetuses because they're attacking me in my sleep. And I'm really regretting <laughs> what I did with Planned Parenthood are, huh? right now, man. Yeah, yeah well, well, Brandlaw, you know, uh, you guys are DP wannabes. Everybody knows it. Nobody's an idiot. So we are you all a know Brett it. Keen wannabe? Uh, no, actually, I predate Brett Keen. Uh, I was oh, so on YouTube. Oh, so you guys have have dated? Okay, I was unaware. No, I don't date Brett Keen. I am my put my fishing pole don't swing that way. But I did hear yours does. Is that true? Are you, are you a homosexual? Are you, are you a homosexual? I don't know. You interested? No, uh, no. I'm I'm being I'm not being facetious. I'm being serious. I actually heard that you guys were homosexual. You were not homosexual for each other, but that you were in fact literal homosexuals, and that you got offended because I spoke out against homosexuality. So now, is it true? I mean, if you buy me a steak dinner first, I don't know, man. Okay, so the so you you got offended. Over my videos talking about homosexuality because you really are homosexual. Okay. Well, that's that's the end of that. I mean, if that's what you want to believe, that's cool. Hey, it's not a matter of belief. Okay? It's not a matter of belief. You either are or you are not. And I was told that you guys got pissy because I, I did a video against homosexuality. All right. Well, do, the thing do, about do the video is pissy, it was I made it. I made it. No, wait a minute. I made it abundantly clear in the video. That the only people that would get pissed off by the video would be homosexuals. And you guys were clearly upset, visibly upset. Okay, so now I'm asking you again, because I want the truth. Are you a homosexual? God damn, tell the truth. All right, Vaughn. You got me back into a corner, bro. I would definitely take a gummer from you. So if that makes me gay, damn right. All right. Well, that's good enough for me. Hey, they're speaking of look, there's a dig. So I guess I'm aroused by that right now, huh? I don't know. I don't know your lifestyle. I don't claim to know it. Yeah, well everyone knows yours because you put it on the internet. <sighs> yeah. I just put all kinds of shit on the internet, right? <laughs> yeah, you sure did. What's going on? That's not my doing, Let's by the see, way. Uh, Let's see. What do we want to do? All right. And there we go. The Bye. Geek Room does not endorse that, by the way. No, but you apparently endorse slandering, defaming, and libeling me, which are crimes. Side they might example. be civil crimes. They might be civil crimes, but they're still crimes. Side they're not, they're certainly not free speech, and they're certainly not fair use. Cite an example of us doing any of those things to you. You you you've never called me a uh, a deadbeat dad or 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 uh, or a uh, a poor father. Never. You've never called me a pedophile. You've never called me a murderer. You've never oh, called no, no, me no, a no, white no, beater. No. no, I've never called you a pedophile or what else was it? Wife beater, child molester. No, I've never called you a child molester or a wife beater. I, I have said that by what we've seen, it by all apparentness, it does look like you're a rather poor father, yes. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm a but model that. citizen. I'm a model <laughs> citizen. I am. I have no I have no criminal record. I don't even have so much as a traffic ticket. I am a model citizen, literally. My children get straight A's in school. Did you know that? That's great. Did you know I'm, did you I'm, know I'm that I'm my kids no 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 that. no you're not gonna talk over me, dude. It's my show. To. It's my show. Did you know that my children are getting straight A's in school? Yes or no? Yeah, I heard you say it earlier. And and, and I, like I said, I'm proud of them. That's that's awesome, man. All right. Well, now, how is it that a deadbeat dad would have kids that are getting straight A's in school? How does I mean, that work? That just doesn't happen? What, do you, no, what, what are you saying? In the dead link, uh, dead chat section, 
and I guess some guys got a hold of it. I apologize for that. That's okay. I can kick him out. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I'll just kick him out. I, I was in the Geek Rooms hangout yesterday kicking their ass, so I'm not big fans of theirs. Yeah, well, one of them's in the room right now. So. Yeah, I know. That's why I came in. I just wanted them to, you know, once again, hear the beautiful voice of Will's World Entertainment. <laughs> the siren. Well, see, the geek room, the geek room, I don't know if you're aware of this, Will, but the geek room is working in collusion with a guy named Lookapig, one of my haters, to do this big mega hate video with all my haters in it. <laughs> Candy Rain, Geek Room, Ravens Underground, all my haters in one big fucking eight hour hangout. I must have missed the memo. Yeah. Yeah, oh, for sure. Candy Rain will be there, I bet. Wait a minute, Brand the Law, you don't know about Look a Pig's big grand hate video of Von Helden? You haven't heard about that? I do know who Look a Pig is. However, as far as this project is concerned, this is news to me. Really? Well, allow me to screen share for you. Hang on just a second. Let me go to my let me go to my email. Okay, sweet. I didn't know you didn't know about this. This is interesting. Yeah, man. I, I'm 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 not in the know, I guess. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, you are not in the know. All right, yeah. let's see here. Do -do 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 Sometimes I gotta hop off the old pewter. Uh, let's see here. Um, mm -hmm. All right, there's my screen share thingy. There it is, right there. All right. Oh shit! I don't know if you can see that or not. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty uh, tiny. That's pretty fucking tiny. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I can. Is there any way for me to zoom in? Probably not. Huh? Son of a bitch. Well, shit. Anyway, there it is. And as you can see, there's quite a. It's quite lengthy. We've been going back and forth quite a bit. And um, but yeah, he's you know he's like uh, yeah. Let, let me see here. Uh, let me, let's do the, the first one here. It says, I have a new video coming out with some of your friends in it. Would you like to join me and the Geek Room in a civil conversation? And I said, civil, the Geek Room? <laughs> and Look at Pig says, the Geek Room, Just Darren, Candy Rain, and others are all uniting in a video of the ages. We have a civil video coming out of our experiences. Now you could get a word in and tell your side. If not, you're under the mercy of my guests. Each one of my guests will have their own right to say what they want. You will have the same right. I understand you're in the clear. You're in to clear your name, and I'm giving you the option to tell your side. The video is coming out with or without your input. Now, if you want to have a say in the matter, I'm personally giving you the option um, to you to out the, the of the kindness of my heart. All right. So yeah. So yeah, you weren't aware of this? No. Wow, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Had it ma had it made its way down the pipeline? Yeah. Apparently not. No. Apparently, uh, apparently, um, you've been left out of the loop, dude. Uh, that's cool, man. At least he told you. I, I think you should know before I should, right? I don't give a fuck. It's just another goddamn hate video. Why the fuck would I care? Well, I mean, I'm just it's not about me. It's about you. That's why I I'm say just, that. I'm just going to flag the fucker. I mean, it's just a hate video. So what? Just another hate video and a nice big heaping pile of hate videos. So I don't give a shit. Hey, Vaughn, I got to be honest with you, all right? I'm, I'm just going to straight shoot with you. You asked me for an apology, and unfortunately, I cannot give you that. Because from my point of view, what I saw, especially from your video, was a child that was coached to say the things that she said. And that's just my personal opinion. Dude, am I wrong? I don't know. Yes, I can't, you're you know, wrong. I can't wait, wait, I'm wait, right wait, wait, all right, all right, all right. Give me a chance. All right, well, I wasn't done talking, but that's fine. I'll let, I, you let me. Let me. Well, you, let me. Let me respond. Wait a minute. Now, let me respond. Let me respond. Okay. All right. She was not coached in any way. All right. And in fact, I, you know, I mean, if if it wasn't so damn late, I'd bring her in here and let you talk to her your damn self. She was not coached in any way, shape, or form. Now, she did get confused at the beginning of the video because she thought I was talking about something that we were, we had been discussing earlier. That's where the confusion come in. 
All right. And that, that's why I had to clarify my statement to her because she got confused about something we were talking about earlier. And that's why she was pointing at me. Right. But you'll notice that once I clarified what I was saying, then she's like, oh, it was Marcia. Wasn't me. All right. See, you have to understand. I was sick. I was in the bed. Marcia tells them to make a mess. And then she lets it sit there for a day or two, knowing that I'm sick. They knew I was sick in bed. Let it sit there for a while. They come in, snap the pics, give the pics to fucking Tiffany Moser, a known child stalker, who then uploads it on the fucking YouTube and puts it all over the damned internet. And that's exactly what went down. And Lila has said out of her own mouth, because I the reason the reason this came about is I asked Lila, I said, you know, why would you write you were hungry? You ain't never went hungry. And she says, she says, oh, it was a gag, it was a joke. And and that never set well with me. So I went back to her again. I said, I said, who told you to write that on the wall? And she said, Marcia did. And I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, because it shocked even me. I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting her to say that, but she did. She said, yeah, it was Marcia. All right. So what Marcia did was she come, she, she told Lyella to make the mess. Lyella makes the mess. Then I get sick. They all go to mom's house. The mess gets worse. She comes back, takes the pictures, tells Lyella right on the wall, you're hungry or you're, well, I, what a, I forget now exactly what she wrote. You're you're going to die or you're hungry or something. Whatever the fuck she told her to write. And then she snaps pictures of it. And then she gave it to her husband's mother, who then gave it to Tiffany Moser. And that's exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. It was a total fucking setup done to me while I was sick in bed in that very in that very bed right there with the shakes. I had the shakes real bad. And it was all done. It was all orchestrated uh, to make me look bad and to get me to lose money on the Internet. See, these people are jealous of the fact that I was making money on the Internet and that my bills were getting paid. See, they don't like the fact that I was paying my own bills because it doesn't fit with their narrative. See, they they want they want people to believe that dear old mom was paying my bills. She wasn't. I was paying my own bills. Now, there was a few times where it was touch and go, but I always managed to pay my bills. Always. All right. And they didn't like that. They didn't like the fact that I was paying my bills. So what did they do? They put these pictures on the Internet so people will unsub, people won't donate, people won't, you know, people. I mean, it affected you, didn't it? They got you, didn't they? Yeah. Okay. And that was the whole plan from day one. Get everybody away from Von Helden so that he won't get donations. He won't get pledges. He won't get anything to pay his bills with. Then they'll come back later and say, oh, look, Von Helden can't pay his bills. He's deadbeat. He won't, he won't do anything. So what you're telling me is your, your home family conspired against you. I find yes. that so hard to believe. Like, well, why would they do that? What would the motivation be for that? Yeah, I have no idea. Dude, I have no idea. I have no idea. I swear to God. No idea. I ain't never done shit to these people, man. But look, I mean, look, look at the fucking, look at the fucking outside chat. Have I ever done anything to them people? No, but yet they're legions of them. I ain't never done anything to none of them people. Did I do any, have I ever done anything to Candy Rain? No. Have I ever done anything to Paul Wayman? No. Have I ever done anything to Sean Merriman? No. Have I ever done anything to Mr. Dark Zodiac? No. I even know I'm not I've not done anything to these people. I don't know these people from fucking Adam. I mean, if this was Game of Thrones and your last name was Lannister, I would believe this a little bit more, but it just sounds too outlandish to be true. I gotta be honest with you. Well, I'm sorry, but it's one hundred percent true. How high is the bullshit meter? And we're gonna and we're gonna find out how true it is because there's gonna be some court cases coming up here real soon. Before the statute of limitations runs out. <laughs> I mean, I start rotting food on the floor. I mean, you said it was just a small area of the entire room. It is. But there was rotten food on the floor. What if Dude, I was in bed sick. Would you listen, listen. It has been fucking hot as hell. It has been in the eighties and nineties. Do you know what happens in extreme heat to fruit? Do you have any idea? It rots fast. Within days, not weeks, not months. 
They're sitting there trying to say that food was in there for months. No, it was only in there a few days because the heat was oh, rotting it. Days, that's all. Why, that's yeah, it. Why is fruit left all it takes. laying around for days? Uh, dude, what part of I'm in the bed sick do you not understand? What part of that are you not getting? What part of grow a set? You're a father. Get up and take care of them. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not. I'm in the bed with I'm the I'm in the bed shaking. I can't even get out of bed. I can't even get out of bed. If I could have got out of bed, it would have been different. But I couldn't even get out of bed. Anyway, it's so a moot saying, point because it was all plotted in advance by my by my mother's family to make me look bad. It has nothing to do with the truth at all. So it doesn't matter. It's immaterial. Because if they hadn't told, if Marcia hadn't told them to make the damn mess in the first place and to hide that food in the bedrooms in the first place, it would have never happened, right? Yeah. The kids were told to make the mess. They were told to write on the wall, I am hungry. If they had not been told these things, it would have never happened in the first place. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here, but I don't know, man. It sounds like bullshit to me, Brian. What do you it's think? It's not bullshit. It's it, not bullshit. Ronnie well, Ray's mom's on Facebook bragging about it. So, no, it's not bullshit. Wait a minute. Weren't, weren't you doing live hangouts during the time that you were supposedly in bed and couldn't get out? No. No, I was not. Okay. Not for the time I was in bed chilling. No. Now, did I do one prior to it? Yes. Did I do one after it? Yes. But did I do one while I was in bed sick? No. No, I did not. Sorry. No, I did not. I know they floated that idea, but sorry, the timeline doesn't match up. Just don't match up. Sorry. Anyways, the point is, is that it was a setup by my mother's family that has been confirmed by my daughter. And there will be lawsuits filed before the statute of limitations expires. Well, can is I there any you proof you could show us that your that your family conspired against you? You said somebody was bragging about it. Can you show yeah. us visual yeah, evidence? Yeah, Ronnie of Ray's that? Ronnie Ray's mom was bragging about it. I don't have her. I don't have her Facebook page, um, but I've I've heard from other sources that you know she's she was bragging. In fact, even even a troll fucking said, "Hey, do you know do you know who this person is?" I said, "Yeah." They said, "Well, she's bragging about uh, destroying." Uh, your family and and putting those pictures on the internet. I'm like, really? And they're like, yeah. This is a troll telling me this. Said, yeah, she's bragging about it. Okay, so you know, I have to assume it's true. Yeah. Now I don't have her Facebook, and I blocked all all of mom's family. I had to, because uh, <clears throat> one of her family members was was on my Facebook, spamming my Facebook, uh, calling me a deadbeat dad, and so I had to block his ass. Bond, yep. I mean, did you really think, though, that it was a good idea to, to have your kid come on and, and state the case as such? I mean, honestly, I yes. think you would have came out better not doing that. No, I would not. If, if Lyella hadn't come out and told us who really did it, people would still be saying I did it. People would still be saying it's my fault and it wasn't my fault. I'm totally innocent. Well, I, I'm not going to make the accusation, but can't you see where other people would see? Oh, I can see how people that. spin. Dude, I am well aware that people spin shit, okay? I, this is not my first rodeo. Well, I'm just saying watching the video, can you see where people would say this looks like this may have been coached? Can, can you not see that? Sure. Sure, I video? can see it. Sure, I can see it. The problem is, is that she wasn't coached. She wasn't coached at all. So this is all the plot of your mother's side of the family, correct? Yes. Yes. Is in your fact, mother included in this conspiracy against you? That's a real good question now, isn't it? Well, I'm a I, the reason I'm asking is because I, I remember you making a video where you had your mother on camera, basically, you know, taking your side in the whole abuse of the yeah, kids she, situation. She, well, she is. Yeah. Mom has come so out. She's the, if she's the matriarch of the family, I'm assuming. Why wouldn't her children or the rest of her family members follow her lead and listen to her? Why do they not believe her? I'll tell you why. Because they want her fucking property. Mom has hundreds of acres down here of land. Land that could potentially have oil on it. And her family wants her land. And that's why her, that's why her family wants the kids gone. See, 
right now her land is under a trust. And the reason it's under a trust is because of them three kids back there. If the three kids are gone, guess what happens to the trust? Poof. It goes bye-bye. And then the land is now open and ripe for the taking. Isn't it? Yes. All right. So this is about a land grab. That's what it's about. All right. I, w I really didn't want to talk about this, but... I'm going to be, I'm, it, since people love to fucking false accuse me, I don't have no choice but to tell you the truth. Because I'm totally fucking innocent. From day one, the plot has been to take my mother's land and to destroy my family. That has been the plot from day one. But they can't take the land unless they get rid of the kids. That's where the internet trolls come in. Get the internet trolls to call CPS out to the house every fucking day to take the kids. Then I get delusioned and I give the kids up for adoption. No more trust fund. They come in, take mom's property literally away from her. Bada boom, bada bing, done deal. That's exactly what's going on. Now it's a shame I have to bring this information out to the public, but I have no choice because I've got too many fucking dickless wonders in the goddamn outside chat saying that this shit's my fault when it wasn't my fault. I am totally 100% innocent of everything, of everything, of all of it. It seems to be a trend. Well, sorry about your luck. I know, I know, Bran, you want to make me out to be some bad motherfucker and it's the, mo the most horrible person you ever fucking met. Right, well, you, you know do a what? good enough job of that yourself, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all my fault. Oh, my God. Get the fuck out, dude. Ah, Seriously. You, bitch. Get the fuck I'm out. out. Yeah, you're out, you're all right, because I'm going to kick you out. Bye. Sitting there saying, you know, see, 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 here's the thing, Will. Even when presented with the truth, they still cannot accept it. They cannot fucking handle it. 